All the Who's at the Who Mall did their Christmas buying, paying with indebted cards, with cash tockles of flying. But while the Who's were engaged in their buying spree, Winona plot plotted to get her shopping for free. No one knows why she was not poor at all, but some say that her conscience was three sizes too small. I don't need to purchase. I don't need to buy. I don't need to kiss my flush money goodbye. I won't even need a gun. The young actress did sneer. I'll just shoplift all of Christmas this year. I'll simply go as me, a celebrity snurch. Then if I get caught, I'll just say it's research. For a Cooleywood schmoovy here in Hooverly Hills. And to give me some courage, I'll just down these pills. You're a klepto, Miss Ryder. You're famous and rich and young. You've got fingers that are stickier than a tar-stained smoker's wrong, Miss Ryder. I know this is your first offense, but I do hope you go to jail just because of all of your acting roles in period pieces. She stole dang tinglers, goose bars, snutterwigs, and furbliners. In fact, she snatched clothes from all the major designers. And then hat upon hat upon hat upon hat, so that you'd never seen hat heads so terribly flat. But just before leaving, a shop whistle blew. Twas a security who, who was no more than two feet tall. Winona, 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 why? Why are you wearing clothes with price tags on? Why? And you know what that bitch did? Do you know what she done? She turned away fast and she started to run the wrong way down upscalators through spindicular doors to her glimmersy waiting outside the stores. And the hooparazzi snapped flashes and on television who's news. It was the biggest hap happening, one of the biggest who's coos. So thank you, Winona, during this holiday season for reminding the Who's of the true Christmas reason. It's not about Who's Jims, Who's or Who Jews, for embracing one and all the celebrity news.